Hi, good morning, and this is Sujata from Happy Investor. And we have another client of ours with us sharing his experiences. Welcome to our exchange, Sachin. Uh, Sachin Vishwanath has been a client with us for many years now. And it's not only Sachin, it's also Sachin's family, as in his parents who are part of our uh, clients who use our services. So we are here to speak with Sachin today on his and his family's experiences uh, with investing in Happy Investor. Welcome to the exchange, Sachin. Thank you. Uh, of course, we've been exchanging uh, and interacting for a while now. But can you give us a little brief background about yourself, what you do, and how you landed up at Happy Investor? Sure. Uh, thank you, first of all, for this conversation. And uh, uh, yeah, so I started off, I mean, I, I was, I'm currently based in the US, but I'm from India, I'm from Bangalore. Uh, when, while I was working in India, I, I did my law school in India. After my law school, I uh, start off with my job in India in Bangalore, and that's when I met uh, Deepesh from Happy Investor. Okay. I I guess at that point in mean, time it was still not Happy Investor or Grow Wealth. Or, I mean he had yeah. no company at that point in time. I think I think he was just a freelancer working on his own. Right. So I remember him. Uh, I mean uh, connecting with him and also one of my ex colleagues. You know he was a heavy investor with Deepesh. So I got a good testimonial from him. And uh, so based on which I connect with, connected with Deepesh and uh, yeah, that's when we kick-started our journey uh, of investments, uh, with, you know, uh, together. And yeah, it's it's been a good journey so far. Probably it's been what, almost 10 years now? Yeah, yeah. nine, 10 years. Yeah, yeah I think 2013. So, so it's yeah, been about yeah. ten years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, uh, I've seen. I mean, I've learned a lot from Deepesh and all of you guys. You know, at Happy Investor. Uh, you know, but at least I mean, during the initial stages, right? So I had no clue about these mutual fund investments. All I knew is there's a lot of risk involved. Is what my understanding was. You know, as a layman, but uh, Deepesh was somebody who guided me well, and he also. Uh, did you know uh handhold me and he did explain things to me he did babysit me in fact so i learned a lot from him and subsequently i've met you and your team you know uh you guys have been great and i've always you know uh got the required help from you guys you know and uh, investments for me have, have been managed well because uh I especially i can't put my head or time into it much and you guys have been great with helping me out with that thank you how has the experience for your parents been since they are also investors with us? Yeah, uh, so based on my investments, based on my uh, liking of it, I suggested to my parents because they were, they, I mean, they're of the generation where they believe in the traditional fixed deposits uh, instead of, uh, I know, mutual fund investments. But I, my father does have mutual fund investments on his own. Which I think is also now handled by Happy Investor. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So based on my liking and my you know, the seeing seeing the growth of my investments, I suggested to my parents and also explained to them as to how the risks uh, work. And Deepesh, in fact, you know himself came over and he explained things to them and to my elder brother who's in Australia. So and based on which uh, uh, you know they start investing and we have uh, you know. More than fixed deposits, I would say we have more investments in uh, mutual funds today. Right. So, like you said, you're now based in the US. So, mm -hmm. as far as India is concerned, you're considered, considered an NRI. So, as an NRI, what has been your experience with us in terms of, you know, because it's a different category of a resident uh, being treated differently when it comes to financial aspects. So how has your experience been on that front in terms of what you've got to know from us and how we've managed your funds? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, this is something, you know, uh, I mean, though I'm a, a tax expert, but I'm not uh, an I mean, expert in taxes when it comes to uh, the direct taxes of the world. So, but uh, Deepesh did, you know, uh, 
guide me through it and he did uh, you know uh, you know let me know of the pros and cons of you know various investments and uh, as an nra as to how i'm supposed to invest and on the tax front and you know uh, you know foreign exchange uh, uh, regulations and all of that he guided me through uh, all of that and you guys have been a great help and uh, to be uh, you know for me to be compliant with the law and also at the same time earn good returns on my investments yeah now you've uh, you've experienced services over here uh, i'm sure that apart from happy investor you must have experienced some other service in the financial sector over here because you know, when you're here you you tend to interact with banks you tend to interact with insurance companies we as uh, your financial uh, investment advisors and uh, also that being in the tax uh, or in the uh, tax scenario in the us like you say uh, and being there for so long you would have interacted with people who are in the similar field over there who offer a similar kind of guidance to people in terms of what they should do with their money and how it needs to be set aside as well as the fact that us has social security options that come up and all that so in that context how do you look at our services how would you compare it with the services and the guidance that you get there yeah i mean uh, honestly uh, i have always trusted you guys i mean you guys are my trusted advisor i usually go to you guys even when it comes to investments in the us to make investments in the us though you guys don't handle it directly but uh, you know based on your knowledge of the market and your knowledge of the regulations you know uh, you know deepesh did guide me and based on his guidance i've been able to accomplish a few things uh, so i have really not ventured into i mean i've spoken to a couple of uh, companies you know who help with these kinds of investments but usually the commissions and all of that the fees and all are pretty high here in the us and okay. also uh, i believe in you know investing in india rather than in the us i mean us can be the market can be very volatile it can go up super well and again fall down like really rapidly uh, but again like i said through mutual funds it's the fees are you know pretty high and i i don't think I, we can get the same service as we get from you guys you know uh, so nobody does any hand holding it's it's very uh, commercial and you know? they just look at what their job is there is you know confine it to that and they don't really go an extra step to help you out and you know handle you and uh, teach you and help you learn and also at the same time understand your investments well so that is something i have not seen here uh, so i usually go to you guys and even you know uh, and also i i believe in investing in india and you know helping uh, my country with its economy okay that's nice to hear because it's always someone wants to you know the moment they are done with uh, their education they want to head out and uh, it's nice to hear that someone who's been around out for a long time still holds the motherland in Absolutely. in context you know? <laughs> for someone who is on the cusp of deciding you know okay i have done something mm -hmm. and now i am at a level and there are aspirations of going overseas what is uh, what is your take on that i mean for people who continue and grow as a career over here these are we people who consider wanting to go overseas or those who are already overseas wanting to come back these are three different scenarios what's your take on each of them i would say that you know it's also important to travel and uh, you know uh, go and uh, see the world as much as possible and live in different places understand people understand different cultures you know learn study work you know that will also broaden your horizon and you know gives you more maturity i would say and that exposure does help you a lot uh, so if given an opportunity i would you know suggest people to take it up if you know if they get an opportunity to move abroad and travel and at the same time you know i would ask them to not forget the motherland motherland you know that's important uh, <laughs> so yeah uh, i mean if they are, i mean once they move abroad and if they get used to it if, if they like it and they might rather I mean they can stay there but uh happily but at the same time you know uh, uh to keep the motherland motherland in uh, mind and heart and visit and you know uh, contribute as much as possible uh, to the motherland is something which is very important i would say uh what was the other one sorry what is the other scenario you asked me so those who are you know all on the cusp of wanting to go vis-a-vis mm -hmm. -vis wanting to stay back at this cusp what would actually make sense 
Mm, I mean, C- uh, again, career on, wise, or you know, yeah, I think it depends on the the field of study or work they are in. Mm-hmm. Uh, depend again, and also depends on the opportunities they can get within India and outside, uh, be it for studies or for work as well. Uh, yeah, I would say wherever the opportunities take them, they should they should give it a try, and you know, uh, and again, if if. If opportunities take back, they take them back to India. They should go back and you know try and explore as much as possible. And in one life, you got to live it. <laughs> right. Yeah. So over the last decade that you've associated with us, any key take of the role that we've played in your life and how we've either influenced it or changed it or improved it? Yeah, I mean, uh, so many times. So, uh, I mean, uh, recently I interacted with a bank in India. So they come, came up with a plan and they suggested saying that, you know, we're going to give me, give you, you know, give you these kinds of returns and it's guaranteed returns and all of that. I mean, it looked tempting. So again, I knew that there are going to be certain hidden things there. So I contacted Happy Investor and I asked, uh, you know, what do you think of this? And, you know, uh, I got a response pretty quickly and, I was made to understand, you know, uh, in in depth as to how those investments work, and how mutual fund investments are much better than those investments. Mm-hmm. So that is one of the examples I would say. And also, you know, uh, like I said earlier, you know, uh, helping my parents invest, you know, with their age and mine. So they have, I mean, usually they have uh, the of of the generation, right? So they they think of investing only in fixed deposits in a, at a bank, and you know. Uh, and that's also something you know they have gotten better returns uh, than a fixed deposit in a bank uh, by helping them invest in mutual funds. So yeah, these are certain instances I've come across in my life with you guys, and uh, and yeah, so my investments, if if uh, they are being managed well and if they're doing well today, it's you know all credit goes to you guys. Yeah, that's that's nice to know, and. Uh... Wish you all the best, uh, Sachin. And we hope to see you back in India and, you know, enjoy your travels around the world. And it's nice that we've been able to make a positive difference to you. Absolutely. Uh, Mm -hmm. Thank you so much and have a good day. Thanks. Thanks, you too. Thank you for your time.